Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about programming and whether or not it's difficult and if you will need to be a genius to be able to do it. So let's get into it. So I had a question and this is a very common one. Uh, Frederick, I mean, is it hard to be a programmer? Do I have to be a genius to be able to do so? Uh, so the quick answer is no but it also depends a little bit on your definition of what it is to be a genius. You see, the thing is, programming is not easy. I will just say that immediately, depending on what you mean by easy, but I think that by pretty much everybody's definition, we can agree that programming requires a fair amount of effort to actually get good at. There's not much in terms of shortcuts that you can take. I know that there's a lot of popularity around this idea that you can take a bootcamp and then you know how to program. And I will just give you the, the truth about this, guys. Yes, you will learn how to write some code by taking a three month or six month or even like something like that bootcamp. But the differences between your skill level and that of a professional is going to be massive. It's uh, no different from a person claiming that they can train you to become a lawyer or a doctor or a architect or something like that in three months. Nobody, no, absolutely nobody masters programming in three months. I'm sorry to say, it's that simple. But it is possible for an average person to become a programmer. And because, because the thing is, guys, if the only people who, who like, we have, like we have tons of programmers, we still need more, but we have quite a lot of them. Not every single person in the world who does programming needs to be what we call a genius. And remember like what, what is a genius? A genius is just somebody who is above the curve by a certain, like an, a factor of X of some sort. Like at some point we're going to have to just think about this a little bit. And I think that the, the thought that this person needs to kind of have about it is to think about it in terms of, do you think that every scientist who works in whichever field of study is a genius? Of course not. They're very smart and dedicated and really hungry for the knowledge that is required of them in order to actually progress within that field. But I mean, it gets to a point that where like, this idea that certain professions requires you to be some type of super person, a super person is true to a point, but program, I mean, there's always a range to every profession, guys. I mean, not every single person in the world who does sports is going to be the winner in the Olympics. There has, I mean, there's more people practicing things that are of an elite nature. I'm not saying the programming necessarily is elite, but it is a higher level of edu education. It's not something that you will just learn from, you know, it, it, it requires effort to get good at it. Just as getting into really good shape requires a lot of effort. Some people, and I mean, this is the thing, some people will have to work harder to get into shape as, uh, as an example than other people. Does that mean that they're like the people who should just give up? Of course not. It's about, to me at least, it's, it's not about being a genius or having some inherent ability to just be smarter than everybody else. If you do have something like that, that's great, but you still have to work at it. Even the smartest programmers need to actually hone their craft over time and really practice it. So no, you don't have to be a genius to learn programming, but you're going to have to invest quite a lot of effort in order to get good at it. That I can promise you, nobody learns this stuff by just existing or by an in, inherent ability that doesn't that that's completely false so it's uh, it, it, yeah I'm, pr I'm pretty sure that that's where we are going to leave this so what i want you to take away from this is that no you don't have to be a genius to become a programmer it's actually the main reason why i didn't start as a programmer much earlier in my like much earlier than i did because i was convinced that i had to be a genius or that 
I had to be very academically inclined or things like that to actually start writing code. And to a point it requires you to be able to focus and logic and all of these sorts of things, right? But it's, it wasn't as bad as I thought. And now I'm very, very happy because I reached, I basically reached that point where I had a decision to make. Either I was going to go for it and try it out before I just got scared by my own assumptions regard uh, I, I, about the field or the profession or I would just go some other way right and I'm I just had that decision that I would rather just give it a real honest try do my best and fail than just let some fear of not being smart enough to keep me back from at least trying. And I suggest you do the same thing because I'm pretty sure that you're going to find that it's going to be challenging, but it's not beyond you. Have a great day.